Here in Co, I met for the first time. I was in the same room with an Israeli woman. I wish I could say it was like easy or, oh, you know, it was like any other woman. It was very hard. It took me a while to, to go into this uh, workshop and when I did, um, it was like, you know, it was um, very emotional. I wanted to leave. That was when I met Frank Bookman in the hall. I hadn't any choice but to stop and tell him that I was leaving because there were Germans present. There was a lot of anger. Like, I, I, could, I wanted to scream. Then he said to me, do you think you can rebuild Europe without the Germans? Obviously, it was impossible. So I didn't want to, to leave this program just because I was like confronted with, with my issues. No, I have to deal with my issues. I have to deal with this anger. I was given the chance to speak and I went up onto the platform in the main hall. I said everything I felt about the Germans and then I said, I am sorry. I ask you to forgive me for my hatred. One cannot forget, but one can forgive. And then a German lady came up onto the platform and she held out her hand to me. I hesitated for a second before taking that outstretched hand. But when I did take it, I experienced such an inner liberation that I felt as if a great weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I felt completely free, a kind of freedom that I wish everybody could experience one day. thinking of it from a very academic perspective of conflict resolution, peace building, theory, and what I've learned that makes the Co Scholars program really unique is that it goes much more beyond that academic level and it really focuses on personal transformation. Because I think our peace work is only as uh, effective as we are able to reflect on our own selves and deal with our own conflicts, deal with our own power, deal with our own identity and cultural issues and, and realize that um, our own hearts are, are not that different from the hearts of the people we're working with. I think it's been a helpful shift. Uh, in the field for moving from the idea of conflict resolution to conflict transformation because we're always going to be in conflict with one another. The conflict hasn't ended yet after 60 years. Even though that a lot of progress has been made as far as the black and white relationship but there's still a lot of structural and underlying factors that can flare up. I still live in Sweden. There is a structural violence against Muslims and there is a lack of dialogue between different communities. I'm coming from Armenia, it's, it's South Caucasus region. In the last 20 years we had uh, four conflicts. Sometimes, you know, the peacemaking processes are not needed only in the times of war. You know, there is a lot of silent conflicts, a lot of frozen conflicts that, that we see around us all the time. My roommate, when I first arrived at Co, our ethos, our, our, our worldview is completely juxtaposed. It couldn't be more different, day and night. And it, it's taken a lot, I think, for all of us in the group to sort of really learn to accept each other's differences. So I was very conscious of America as the, you know, great problem solver, a conflict resolver, um, and uh, tried to hold my tongue and listen a bit more than maybe the stereotype. That was helpful. The most um, troubling thing for me was listening 
to my history, my story, the story of my parents, my country, listening from another point of view, from an Israeli's point of view. And so what I love about Ko is that people came knowing that the expectation was not that this was going to be head knowledge or academia, this was going to be looking inside deeply and dealing with your own conflicts, whether it be from family of origin or country or community, but then at the same time, leaving those aside and listening to the deep, painful stories of other people and other cultures, and in that process, becoming a bigger person, becoming a better person, and ultimately then, I believe, a better peace builder, a better facilitator, someone who can put into practice what they've learned. Now, when I, uh, I reflect or I think about home, I, about Lebanon, I think we are so much stuck in, in, in the past and, you know, that we are unable to see the future. We are unable to see anything beyond, beyond today. Today, we are still thinking about the war, the civil war or wh whatever, any kind of war, any kind of trauma. And we have to deal with that. But deal with it efficiently and really have the tools to deal with it. In Coast College program, I have learned many skills, how we can take in initiatives and how we can make it successful, at least uh, to create a peaceful dialogue between the different actors in a conflict region. I mean, it gives you that kind of skills in yourself and it gives you enough confidence that you can handle it. Uh, plus, if you talk about the overall environment of CO, it's not only the CO scholar program, there are different programs going on at the same time. The Human Security Forum, first of all, like many conferences, is a wonderful place for networking. So, I mean, that's what the first thing that's very obvious. You, you are rubbing shoulders and meeting people that you would probably never have a chance to in many situations unless you get into a certain sector. And so it's fantastic to sit at lunch with the UN ambassador from Iraq and to sit at lunch with uh, ambassador Dr. Mohammed Sahnoun. You know, how, how often do you sit at lunch and just uh, hear about his life and his story? And you build this wonderful network of global contacts at call, which to me proved extremely helpful afterwards in my work in the years that came. Being here at Co for a month with my fellow scholars and with the rest of the Co family, the experts, the diplomats, uh, the practitioners, it, it gives me that opportunity not only to swap that business card, a quick handshake and kiss and off you go and hopefully we'll connect through Facebook or stumble upon each other again in the future, but it, it gives me that opportunity to make lifelong friends in the field. People that I will be cooperating with God willing in the future, people whose help I will need, people who might potentially need my help in the future. I'm so glad to know I'm not alone. You are here with me by my side. Change we want.